Hi guys, welcome back to Laravel 8 tutorial. In this video, we will discuss about Laravel Blade template and the idea about the component concept. Laravel using Blade templates and components provides benefit of section and the layouts. So to create a component, we need to use PHP artisan make component and I am providing the name of the component like header. If we create a component, it will add two files. One is under app views components that is a header.php. This is the class file. So another file is located inside the resource views components and header.blade.php. So this is the blade file and the another one as the class file so now i am going to add something in the header blade so i am creating in the p tag suppose i am creating hi this is from header and i want to display this content from our home page so how can we add this so this is the basically the welcome.blade.php we need to add the header inside this blade so to display this content from welcome.blade.php we need to use the component addition tag that is header and close the tag so if you refresh this page we can see the output hi this is from header so it's basically it is coming from header.blade.php actually the header.blade.php is calling from the header class it's it's loading the components.header that is inside the component the header file so if we add this tag it, it will call the class file and inside the class file it's rendering this header file that's the reason we can see the hi this is from header so now i want to pass a data from the component so how we can pass this we can pass from the welcome blade suppose i am creating a name variable like so name equal to learning points I need to pass this value to the component class so I have to go to the class and we need to add the public dollar name and I need to pass this from constructor and we need to add this this name is basically dollar name so if you want to pass a value to the header component we need to call the header class and i am passing a variable that is learning points and i am accepting this value and it's rendering the header.php so if we print and suppose an h1 tag i am printing this so name is dollar name so if you run this we can get the value from name so i am refreshing this and i can see the name is learning points which are passing from the welcome.play.php so another things now i want to pass data to the component from controller so how we can do this so let's create a controller so i'm stopping this to create a controller we need to write php artisan make controller i am providing the name of the controller suppose the car controller and my controller is created so we can see my controller is created here in the http we can get the car controller now i am creating one function suppose public function that is index 
and I am creating a variable suppose I am creating my variable equal to suppose my value now I want to see that from my welcome.php so we need to return view the name of the view that is welcome and I am passing this value using compact so my value is my var so we will get the this variable from welcome.php so to pass another things to the component we need to write the colon and after that the variable name and inside this in the invite comma we have to pass the variable so in this way in in, a, in our header class we are passing this variable so we need to accept this variable from the header class so we need to create another variable that is public my var we need to pass this variable from the constructor and i am creating this my var equal to dollar my var so in the header this will be accessible so i can print this from here so i am printing another suppose in h2 i am printing this so in h2 i am writing my variable is suppose dollar pair and another things we need to do we need to call the route function so inside the route we are directly calling the view function i need to call the car controller from this route so just remove the closer functions and call the car controller so in laravel 8 we need to use these things that is car controller and after that class and we need to pass the function name here so my method name is index suppose i'm providing a name to this route suppose car dot index and another things we need to do we need to use the controller name so to use we need to write use app http controllers and the class name so if you run this program we will get the output that is my pair sorry we need to make sure there is no space between colon and the variable name so just remove the space from this and run this that is i'm getting the my value so it's my value is seated from the cars controller so in the same way we can pass any array also so let's create an array that is suppose the cars array and inside the array i am providing suppose bmw volvo audi just three variables so, and i am passing this value using the compact method and i am passing this value to the component so to pass the value we need to use the dollar curse and i need to accept that value that is same way the public dollar curse and we need to pass this from con constructor and we need to accept this in the same way like curse equal to dollar curse so in the components dot header file we will get these things so i can print from here so i am printing inside the ul that is ul so for each curse as car uh, i'm adding the for each and for each and i am printing this value from li so just use this variable that is dollar car 
and if we run this we can see the output that is bmw volvo audi so basically this is coming from array so it's all about component concept with a blade template in laravel 8 so please comment if you have any queries if you like this video please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video next day i will discuss about laravel database connection and records fetching so thanks for watching